Hi, this is Dave with FabCAD and here's another series of tips and tricks. And this time we're going to show you how you can scale up objects without having to use a calculator. So I'm going to bring in a photograph. Let's scale up a photo. So I'm going to bring this one in. And here's the scenario on this. Uh, we feel measured the diagonal measurement from the point here to point here and it's 48 inches. But the photo has come in, we don't know what size it is. So let's do a dimension. We're going to go from the nose of the step here to the nose of the step down here. And it's 3 foot 7 and 1 16th. We want this to be 48. So we're going to use the scale command. And we'll select the objects. We'll select the, the dimension as well as the photo. And then the base point, we'll just put just about anywhere. And then we're going to click reference. And the reference length we're going to snap to the endpoints of this dimension and the new length we want 48 I hit enter and there we are it's four feet long and that's how you scale without using a calculator now a lot of you may use a shortcut keys for different things like if you hit C and enter it's it's copy so you want to make that C be circle instead of copy well you can go either go to manage and edit aliases where you bring up this Fab, FabCAD or AutoCAD PGP file and if you don't have that command available in your ribbons you can just go to Explore and I'm going to go down here to the I'll show you where it's located C drive go to program files or program file 686 depending on what version you have and go to FabCAD and in the support directory is where you'll find this file. So I click on support and I'll go down here and look for FabCAD PGP or AutoCAD PGP depending on what software you have. And there's a PGP program parameters file. So I just double click, open it up. And down here you'll see the shortcut keys. A, array, see all these? C is copy. Now we could go in here and change this to circle but to preserve everything as it was you could just go down and and go to the last line because whatever is the last shortcut key that's the one that it, the program uses so I'm going to put C and then follow the syntax and put a star here and then I'm going to put in instead of copy call it circle C-I-R-C-L-E okay and then I'm going to save it and then go back into FabCAD now the PGP file is loaded when you start up FabCAD or AutoCAD. I don't want to have to go back and restart the program. So there's a command called reinitialize. So I go R-E-I, reinit, see that? And it asks you what do you want to reinitialize. I want to do the PGP file, so I just click OK. So now when I type C, instead of copy, it gives me circle. And that's how you can go in and do it. Change and create any kind of shortcut key that you want. Now you notice the circle itself has got all these little straight edges on here. And so we can just go in here and hit R and enter, shortcut key, and it regenerates the circle. But if you want to eliminate a lot of that, you can go in, right click on the command line, and choose options. And you see this display resolution here? It's under display. You notice that there is a drawing icon here, drawing symbol. That means that this is only going to apply to this drawing. Okay, so I'll put 10,000 and apply. Anything that doesn't have an icon next to it is a global setting. So if I wanted to want this to work on every drawing that I do from now on, I'd have to save this drawing as a template file so that the next time I open it up, the display resolution will be set for 10,000 rather than 1,000. So I click OK. So now I won't have that problem with this circle having little straight lines in it.